I wanted to wait a couple of weeks uh, before making this video just just because I've I've made significant changes in my diet and, and fasting and stuff before but uh, I mean you, you when you when you make significant changes or do big things uh, you tend to find that the reactions and, and whatever do reduce a lot for the few days after so I finished my five-day dry fast for the few days after it I didn't react to anything at all I had zero sort of eczema zero issues no heart reactions to food everything was just completely gone um, but I just I, I needed to wait a couple of weeks just to make sure so um, as predicted things did come back but uh, I mean there was a couple of um, a couple of things that just did completely go away which was awesome um, but everything else generally just reduced a lot so the um, eczema and things like dandruff and, and skin issues they're all a lot less so quite significantly less you can probably see the comparison now um, to what it was before uh, you see my face now and I'll, I'll put up a photo of um, sort of a screenshot of a video of what it was like before and you can see that it's 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 a lot different a lot less this is about as bad as it gets uh, even when I flare up so um, whatever whatever it did it did fix that um, to an extent and in terms of sort of physical reactions to food it's the same thing it just seems to be a lot less so the, the five day dry fast it did heal some things but not completely in terms of the, the food reactions I did test a lot of foods and I still react to the same foods just in a less way um, I still seem to have issues with certain dairy um, so not, not everything is healed um, so my, you know in a couple in a few months I'm gonna try a um, probably a, a, a 10 day water fast and, and just keep fasting every day and, and do, do weekly 36 48 things like that um, to eventually just heal this thing fully it's just going to take a bit more time um, one thing I noticed that was one of the most shocking things was that I gained a lot of strength after the dry fast so the day after I just basically ate for a lot of the day drank water and everything and then the day after that I went back to the gym and I was a lot stronger um, and I don't think it was due to being lighter because um, I mean I'd gained a lot of the weight back by that time anyway I think it was more to do with whatever fasting does the, the release of human growth hormone or whatever it it um, does the opposite of what you think it would do it just doesn't really chew the muscle away I didn't lose any muscle I didn't lose any strength I actually gained strength somehow and a lot of strength I've been working on my leg strength for a long time and I've been kind of um, at, a, at a standstill with it but I mean I increased weight I increased reps on nearly every exercise when I went back to the gym so that that was incredible that was something that I didn't expect and that's why I'm currently trying to gain muscle, gain a bit of weight. And that's why I'm still fasting like crazy while doing it. I'm um, doing OMADs, 36s, 48s. Um, because I now know experientially that you can't, you know, you just simply don't lose strength and muscle while fasting, if anything, you gain. So um, I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, another thing that it completely healed, the, the dry fast, um, was the... Uh, I used to get headaches when I'd eat red meat for some reason, really bad migraines that would just wake me up at night and it's completely gone. That just doesn't happen anymore, which is awesome. Um, so I've been smashing the red meat, being, being eat, eating about a kilo a day at the moment just, just to get the protein in and the, um, the fats and the meat and whatever. So, um, yeah, so I mean, it, it didn't heal everything like I thought it might. Uh, I mean, a lot of people suggested, a lot of things I've read and watched suggest that it's, it's uh, depending on the, the damage, the extent of damage that you have, it can take a fair while. I think maybe another, uh, I think a 10 day water fast would probably knock it out, which is probably my next plan. Um, maybe another, I mean, the next dry fast I wanna do might be a bit longer, maybe seven days. Um, but I want to make it a hard dry fast, so no water contact at all. Um, but that's not on the cards for a while. I just want to do this 10-day uh, water fast first in a, two or three months once I've gained some weight. Um, so yeah, that that's basically it. That's the update for now. There's probably some more things that it healed uh, that I'm not thinking of or not aware of at this point. I haven't. I mean, I haven't tested every single food. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was a good result. Things things are better. Um, just just a little 
a little more to go and I, I think I'll be completely healed. Cheers.